Alright, this week I noticed I did not have a Halloween doormat for my house, so I decided to make one. And I am going to show you guys how I did it. Step one, get a blank doormat. I got mine at Target for only 10 bucks, and it's the bigger one, so didn't think that was bad. Step two, you were going to need some paint. I also need a cardboard to make it stencil, but if you want a freehand, you know I'm pro freehand. Otherwise, you just need a Sharpie and paint. First I had to decide what I wanted to put on my doormat, and since I'm obviously a huge Hocus Pocus fan, I chose this design that I found on Pinterest. Lots of choices on Pinterest. You will be able to find something you like. I took this and created this. Totally redeeming myself from last week's video where it looked nothing like what it was supposed to look like. So how I made this. I wrote out Hocus Pocus, how I wanted it to look on this file folder. And then I cut out the big chunks of the letter and then pinned it to the mat and just painted the openings. So then after I took the stencil off, I used my Sharpie to finish the letters, but then I went back over them with paint. Helpful tip for this, just doing regular paint strokes does not work. You really have to like stipple it in and it works so much better. So I wrote in my letters, once I got the spacing right for that, I did the top part. It said it's just a bunch of. I hand drew that on cardboard as well, cut it in half and just wrote out the bottom of the letters with Sharpie. And then I took my stencil off and finished it with Sharpie and again, painted over that. And then I just cut out a bat stencil, traced around it, filled it in, boom, I have a new doormat. Super, super easy project. So that is one more Halloween craft for me this month. Oh, I love this season so much. My name is Aubrey. I make new videos every Thursday, so make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my social media, and I will see you guys next week. Apologize for all the birds and the dogs in the background. I decided to film outside. Probably won't be doing that again. I am one of those people that set up skeletons on my porch in scenarios that skeletons should not be in. But, but I really, really love this trend. <laughs> it lights up at night and everything. It's great. I should do a whole yard tour. You guys have seen my graveyard, but I never show you my porch. This might be the year. <laughs>